You've got to tune to KEXP, listener-powered radio at 90.3 FM in Seattle, online around the world at kexp.org. I'm Cheryl Waters, and I am so excited to have Laura Veers live in studio today. Thanks so much for coming. Thanks, Cheryl. Want to start with a song? Sure. Here we go. This is called Sun Song. <laughs> First rays of light coming through Been several months since I saw that much blue Water rushing in the bay Freed from the ice it has the sun, sun to thank It has the sun, sun to thank Inside your golden hair Catch all the light I fight to death I swear As all the other mothers would the land Stalked by winter solace in a small old man Got the sun, sun to fame Got the sun It's Laura Veers live in studio here at KEXP. That is Sun Song from her new album, Warp and Weft. And that song really taps into an emotional place for me. It fills me with so much joy that tears almost spring to my eyes every well, time I hear it. you're a Northwesterner. That's why we don't get enough of that thing. <laughs> Maybe that's it. But uh, what a beautiful song. I, um, I'm so glad my microphone is off because every time I hear it, I want to sing along and oh. I, I go to bed. No, I would love to hear you sing along with that. <laughs> That's great. You and Alex sounded great there. I think I'll just leave it to you. Okay. Well, thanks. <laughs> yeah, that one's for the Northwesterners of the world who just don't get enough sun. <laughs> All right, this next one's called America.
How can it be so cold out here in America? Everybody's packing heat in America. Training their barrels on the city streets of America. Veers live in the KEXP studios, the song America from the new album Warp and Weft. That song also fills me with quite a bit of emotion, but for very different reasons. And I just recently watched the video for that. Yeah, I'm glad you got a chance to see that. Very provocative. Can you talk a little bit about that song? Sure, yeah. It's a song about um, the state of our culture and gun violence and how distressing that is to me as a person as a person who loves our country and as a person who's a mother of two young children and, and just feeling fearful about that and angry about that and wondering how we can come to a place of more peace in our society and fewer guns and fewer accidents and mass shootings and all that. And so that we touch on that with the video, which is pretty provocative and shows it's like it's, f- it's faked, but it shows children with guns and it's, um, It's sort of a dark humor take on it, which can be in some ways a helpful way of looking at something like this, which is such a complicated and confusing issue. I think black comedy can kind of um, provoke people and get people to think and talk. And there is a lot of discussion happening on my Facebook page and other places. We've gotten, I think, 35,000 hits in a couple days, which is great. 
just because I want people to think about it, talk about it, and I care about it. I wrote a song about it. And I don't usually write topical songs. I, I used to when I was a lot younger, but I'm sort of moving back to that. And I wonder if being a mom has something to do with that, making me feel like I need to protect my kids and, you know, try to figure out how to make this world a better place for them. You, those two, first two songs, um, very different in um, the tone and messaging. Do you feel like there's a, a lot of range throughout the album? Yeah, it, there is. You know, there, that first song is very much about the joy, joyful side of life and the sun coming and melting the icy wintry waters and um, the beauty of life and how you'll fight for your children and fight for to the death. Like, I feel this kind of fierceness now that I felt like as a young punker, like uh, about life in general. And I think it's because... I want these kids to thrive and I want our world to be amazing. And they show me uh, in a lot of ways how amazing it is with their wide-eyed wonder, you know, because they're kids and that's just how kids are. And at the same time, there's a very dark thread going through the record of, you know, war, violence, and the things that affect people and, and you know, the sort of dark side of life that haunts people. And since I'm a new parent, it haunts me as a parent, you know, like, the specters and the dark sides of the world are also interwoven. And I'm using the word weave a lot. The, the title of the record is Warp and Weft, which is referring to a loom and the two um, directions of yarn that go on a, on a loom. So yeah, I weave in a lot of old folk songs, old um, refrains from folk songs, and artists like Alice Coltrane and Howard Finster, the sort of outsider artists, get woven in. The light, bright aspects of life, the dark underbelly of life. It's kind of, it's like I was working with the weaving theme on this record. I had planned to ask you if and how motherhood had impacted or influenced your songwriting. Clearly it has, um, yeah, it sure what you has. just said. And uh, you actually did a, a collection of folk songs for children mm -hmm. prior to this album. Yeah, I did. It was kind of a fun project to do because it took the edge off. It took the pressure off. Like, you have to write songs. And I mean, I do love writing songs, but it's it's work for me, and it's hard to get the good ones. I write many, many more than I keep for each album cycle, like 70, you know. And so I just wasn't coming up with a lot of material that I liked after I had my first boy, who's now three and a half. And so it, was, it just was a nice, um, almost historical research project to find songs that I felt should be brought back to light and re-recorded re with my and Tucker Martin, my husband, husband and producer's take on these old folk songs. And that was a fun project. And like I said, it kind of allowed me to just breathe and be creative and not have to write. And then after I got that out of my system, I think that was a one-off. You know, some people decide I'm going to be a, an artist for children, but I think that was just a one-off. And then I found space within myself to write these new songs for this new record. Well, it's a beautiful, beautiful record. Thank I, you. One of my favorite of the year. And you mentioned your husband, Tucker Martin, who's an incredible producer and a long history with quite a variety of musical styles and yeah. artists. And uh, you've worked on many records now with him. And you also had an incredible cast of uh, guests helping you out on this record, including this gentleman, Carl Blau, who is uh, with you here today yeah. and playing with you tonight at the Tractor. That's right. I should mention, but talk about some of the other guests that were on the record. Well, Alex Guy was on it. She's in the studio here. She's a Seattle resident uh, playing viola, and she plays keys on the live set. And Matt Berger was not on the record, but he's in the session today. Tucker Martin played a lot of the drums. Brian Blade played. Katie Lang came in for a song who was great because we had just recently met her and she biked over she lives in portland now she does yeah she just rode over on her bike and everybody sang on moves to portland we're so sad you <laughs> left seattle well, and tucker I'm not as too well far. i do come <laughs> up to visit my niece and nephew a lot but um i stay kind of hidden when i'm here <laughs> but um uh nico case makes an appearance in a couple tracks and sounds amazing she sounds like my like evil cousin or something not evil i <laughs> actually she's not evil she's amazing but when she has I first such a powerful heard, voice but when i first heard sun song i thought that was you doing oh, really? the backing vocals yeah and I, to me it's it's pretty strikingly her but it's because i was there and I, I mean i know it's her and she's just got such a remarkable powerful i think she's got one of the best voices of the gener of like our generation yeah. of singers the I same agree. goes for katie lang and the same goes for jim james who was also on the record that's incredible well, it sounds like it was a ton of fun it to was record. Really fun. And, I and I was eight months pregnant at the time, so I was pretty worn out. But it came off great, and it was a good excuse to like get it done because we wanted to get it done before the baby came. We almost finished, not quite, but... And you have the baby on tour with you. I do. A little rock and roll, maybe. Yep. <laughs> That's great. Well, Laura Veers plays tonight at the Tractor Tavern here in Seattle with Carl Blau, and it is such a delight to have you here today. And um, can you play a couple more songs? Sure. Thanks, Cheryl.
Warp and Weft is the new album from Laura Veers on Raven Marching Band. Laura, that's your own label, is that right? Yes, it is. That's awesome. And tonight they play at the Tractor Tavern. Carl Blau is also on that bill. And one more song from Laura Veers. Speaking of weaving. Yes, while they weave their way back to a, a different instrument through all the chords in this great room.
this last song is, well, that last song we just played, it's called White Cherry, referring to the wintry white blossoms of cherry trees that decide to come out when it's snowing and everybody else is freezing and freaking out. <laughs> so it's kind of cool to think of a tree opening up at that time. And then that's about the lush beauty of life. Again, it's like these contrasts between the bright and awesome and the dark and sad. And so that one's kind of, I, I like that. It's, it's referencing Alice Coltrane, who's a great jazz harpist, and we got a sample there. That's one of John Coltrane's wife. That's right. And um, this song is about her. This next song we're playing is called That Alice, and it's just kind of a straight-up rock tune, but really fun to play and fun to think about her and uh, in a different context. There we go. It works better when we can hear your guitar. <laughs> Especially for the rocker. Yeah. Not an acapella tune. It's
Laura Veers live on KEXP with that Alice from the new album Warp and Weft, one of my favorite of many Thank on you that very new much. album. And what a cool reference to Alice Coltrane there. Um, on the previous song, you featured harp, which is one of her many instruments. That's uh, right. Very, very cool. Thank you for having us. Well, thank you all for coming in today. And you can see them tonight at the Tractor Tavern with Carl Blau. And uh, great job on the new record. All right, thanks. You've got a tune to KEXP Seattle.